Welcome to the channel, everyone. Today I'm going to be going over a very high level game between two strong grandmasters. His white is Etienne Bacrow, at the time of the game is 2713. His black is Alexander Morozevich, at the time of the game is 2770. Let's begin the game. White began with d4, now we have d5, c4, e6. And now white developed his knight to c3, c6, e4. D takes e4, knight takes e4. Black gave a check on b4, bishop d2, black took the pawn on d4, bishop takes b4, and black took the knight on e4 with check. In this position, black is up a pawn, but white has the two bishops, as well as the dark square bishop is stopping the black king from castling kingside. Now I want bishop e2 here, knight a6, somewhat developing the knight and hitting the bishop on b4, bishop d6, still not letting the king castle Queen kingside, queen takes g2, now I want queen d2, just totally ignoring the fact that the rook is unprotected, here black with e5, if he takes the rook on h1, Roy can actually just castle queenside, and he's totally winning here because he has threats such as bishop a3 or something, and the rook and queen are lined up with threats such as queen d8, also bishop f3 is trapping the queen, so... White is totally winning here because of his development lead. So instead, black went e5, bishop takes e5, bishop f5, white went bishop f3, queen g6, because there's nowhere else to go with the queen, so he has to go to g6. White, white castle long, knight c5, developing the knight to a better spot, queen d3, hitting the knight, and maybe has some discoveries with the bishop lined up on the king. Bishop b1, threatening queen c2 mate, so I went rook d2, bishop takes a2, threatening queen b1 mate, and now I went bishop d6, check, black blocked with the knight on e6, and white went bishop e4, stopping the mating ideas on b1 and hitting the queen, queen h6, f4, white of course doesn't want to trade queens here, now knight f6, developing the knight, kind of hitting the bishop, Knight of 3, ideas such as knight g5 in the future. Now, black took the pawn on c4 with his bishop, and white went rook e1. Again, he has threats such as knight g5, bishop f5, and the king now is might be in some trouble, so castle and long is pretty strong. And now bishop takes c6 is what a good move, and now bishop a6. If black takes the bishop, which he should have done, then white can just take on a7, rook takes d6, and it's just drawn by repetition after queen a8, king c7, queen a7, and check, check, check. And of course, if white takes the rook over here, just queen takes f4, and white is losing here, so he needs to just do the draw. But here, black made a big mistake with bishop a6, now knight g5, hitting the knight on e6, and the pawn on f7, and now... The knight takes g5, white has forced mate with a really nice move, bishop d7. Kind of out of nowhere here. Now black took with the king. For example, he takes with the rook, just queen c3 check. And now, for example, king d8, bishop e7 check, king e8, and queen c8 with mate to follow. And if he takes with knight, just queen c3 check, and he can block as much as he wants, bishop c4, queen takes c4, and now we can give a knight also, and now queen takes c5, and after king d7, queen c7 is mate, so it doesn't really do much either. So he decided to take with king, and now queen e7 check, king c6, queen c7 check, and black resigned, because after king b5, white has queen c5 check, king a4, and mate on b4. Okay, thank you guys for watching, if you have any questions or suggestions, Please tell me in the comments below. I'll do my best to reply to all you guys. Until next time, I'm out of here.